Hey guys, today I'll show you how to compress your large video files that you recorded from DxStory. So the thing with DxStory video files is that they're humongous in size. I have an example here. This is a payday recording. It's 54.1 gigabyte, and it's only 36 minutes long. It's 60 frames per second though. This, this method will also work on other video files, but it's very effective on DxStory recorded video files. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download this software called Handbrake. It's free and it's one of the best encoders out there. Basically what the software will do is it will convert your DxStory video to the H.264 format. And this format keeps the video size very small while it retains its quality. So once you have downloaded it, go ahead and open the file, the program. Then right here, you just go ahead and drag and drop to import it or you can just click source and find the file manually. So under presets, go ahead and click high profile. This will change all the settings inside the video tab. These are standard settings that come with Handbrake. So under frame rate here, make sure it's set to same as source. So if you record it in 60 frames per second, you keep its smoothness. If you record in anything higher, you also keep its smoothness. So under quality here, constant quality, the higher the number, the lower quality it is. Right now, by default, it's set to 20. I recommend setting in a range about 22 to 20, depending on on how high quality you want your video file to be. From my testing, 20 is the best. That I don't see much of a difference in qu in quality with 1080p, but it's kind of your choice if you want to set it a below or above the range I specified. Okay, under here for un encoder preset, this will affect the speed of the compression or the encoding. So for medium, is you're going to end up with a smaller file size, but it's going to take longer to encode and of course, the faster you're going to get larger file size and even faster you're going to get an even more larger file size. It's kind of like compression level for zip files. So that's, under, that's all I'll do for the video. And under audio, since I've recorded with two audio tracks, one is the game's sound and one is my microphone. So there will be two tracks. So if you're gonna gonna use this video file to edit later on in Vegas or some other software, this this step is quite necessary. If not, your your voice will be cut out. So the first track here is the first is number one, which is which is um probably the game track. I will just continue using A AAC correct. I will and right here sample rate. I will set it to forty eight, depending on what you've record it with mix down I'll set it to automatic so for the second track you want to select the second one here so this is your your microphone and uh, I will just select the AAC codec and leave everything the same except for this 48 so after that I will just go ahead and click oh yeah you need to set where you want to save the file usually just save it at the same place I usually set it like the same file, the same name, but just type dash edit or something so I can recognize. And you go ahead and click start. Now it's going to encode. It, it might take a while. Um, you can see the frame rate and time, time remaining here at the bottom and the top here. So while waiting, if you if you've recorded multiple video files, you can go ahead and just add them here, change the settings to your liking, and after that add to queue then you have multiple video files which will be uh, encoded after this so right now um, I guess I'll just let this encode and once I'm done I'll show you the results ok I'm back so the result is that this is the encoded version it's, it's been reduced to 2.85 gigabytes well before it was 54.1 gigabytes it's in 60 frames per second and it and it retains the quality this this will make this will make video editing easier because um, large video the large video file size would 
cause a lot of lag for if you're editing with Vegas. This is how it looks like with the encoded version. And this is this is the original. I'll probably try to put a comparison between the two somewhere around now. So go ahead and try this out yourself. You see that the quality has little to none dif none difference. So thanks guys for watching. Hopefully this helps. And yeah.